What is up everybody? I am out here today on the water. I didn't shoot an intro to this video from the launch or anything like that just because I'm kind of on a little secret mission today. You know, I, I can't give away all the secrets, but today we're hopefully gonna, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm doing, what I'm using. And uh, yeah, I think I could potentially hook into some really big walleyes today. So it's super cold out. There is ice all around me. I'm literally in a channel that is only maybe 200 yards wide and if the wind switches and the ice blows back in I can literally get trapped out here but I think I found a school of fish on my side imaging I go back I got plastics rip wrap blade baits and some bait tied on there's the ice out there and then there's the ice right there so not dealing with a whole lot of room today I started the moxie this is my favorite color. This is Sartreuse Orange Core, the Moxie, three eighths or quarter ounce head. I'm gonna throw this. This is like really good for me when the water's cold. But then obviously the rip and wraps are super killer. And I got a blade bait and a swim bait over there as well. But I'm gonna start with the Moxie. This is fun. This is exciting. All right, here we go. First cast. Now it's always it's, it's bad luck to catch it in the first cast, so I'm just gonna work this thing back here. Probably won't get a bite, you know, I'm probably not going to get a hit, but you never know. And sometimes we'll hit it right by the boat too. Alright, all right, good. Alright, we got, we, got we got that out of the way. No, no fish in the first cast. Alright, here we go. Second, second cast. Maybe, maybe we'll get good on the second cast here. Right. This moxie, it's just a cast outlet at the bottom. And it's like to pop it just like this. Hold your rod tip up. Let that bait swing. And reel down once you see that slack in your line, you know the bait's back in the bottom. You can feel it hit. It's a nice, steady, slow retrieve. The water's actually warmer than I thought it was going to be. It's 38 degrees. I saw 38.2, even with the iceberg behind me. <laughs> but air temperature is super cold. I think it's only 30 degrees right now. It's going to get up to about 38. But when it's cold like this, I mean, it's, it's really not, the water's really not even that cold. 38 isn't that bad. I might put on a rip and wrap pretty quick here. See all these? All those little shadows, those are all fish. And I threw a waypoint down because I was seeing them before. <clears throat> I don't know. They didn't eat the moxie on the first pass, so I'm going to try and give them a rip and wrap. They're right on that break. You can see where this comes up over here. Fish, they're not on the top of the flat. Let's try a rip and wrap and then a blade bait. Same action, is to lift and hold. You can do big hops, you can do little hops, you can do double hops, do upside down hops, you can do whatever you want. There we go. Yes. What is it? Oh no, that's a walleye in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, baby! That's like four casts with the rip and wrap and it's off <laughs> oh this is so cool yes that is not a big one by any means but guess what that's a walleye see it's gold it's got the little white tip that is a walleye baby yes deuces That was exciting. That needs to happen like 10 more times. There we go. That feels big. That feels good. A walleye too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a really big one. This is a really, really big fish. This is a giant. Oh, baby! <laughs> Look at this bait. <laughs> Look at that bait! It's gone! It's gone! 
Look at that fish. Look at it. <laughs> so awesome. God, they look big in the water. All right. Let's let this big girl go. Oh, that was awesome. My fingers are so cold. That was like second pump. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm not doing real big hops either. Goodness, there's a lot of fish inside. See all these, see all these fish? All those shadows there are all fish, and they look like walleyes. We gotta go back up. The water temperature has dropped like over a degree in 500 yards. It's just that first 500 yards that's warm. So, go back up, take my pass. All these shadows are all fish. That's a lot of fish. Like a lot, a lot of fish. Threw a waypoint down. I don't know, if those are walleyes, oh my goodness. Oh, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> there we go. Little walleye. Right? Just getting to my waypoints, too. There we go. That one ate it. Feels good, too. Oh, yeah. That's another big one. I think this one's bigger than the last one. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm pretty sure the whole bait is gone. Turn the boat, she's underneath the boat. There she is. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, that bait is gone. That bait is freaking gone. Oh, that's a nice fish. I know. I can't even see it. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it, but I do not see it. There it is. There's the bait. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Here's another one, baby. <laughs> goes cold 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 probably check my leader after that because she had that thing oh, leader's good there's fish all over the screen check my drag because I did loosen it always check your drag and loaded rod never just check it right here if you check it here it's going to be set way too heavy your rod absorbs a lot of that power of the fish next cast two casts in a row oh it's a giant white fish so some of these are white fish and some of these must be walleyes there we go that's three casts in a row Here we go, drift number four, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, it's gonna be a fourth. But the fish are only like in the first, I don't know, 500 yards. Not that I can go much further than that because there's a giant sheet of ice, but the water temperature drops once I get closer to that ice over there, which is kind of weird because the wind's blowing all the surface water that way, but the warmest water's up this way. There we go. 
little one. There's a tip too. Throughout these ripping wraps, they get tangled like that. They get the liner on the hook. It's just like if you get a dog ball or a deuce ball, you can just whip the end of your rod tip and get that line to snap back and forth a little bit. You can get that line off of that hook. Then you're not wasting the cast. There we go. Next cast. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna change colors. It's no fun to just catch them on one color. Might as well catch them on more than one or see if it's if I just happen to pick the right color this morning or if they're gonna eat this one better. I don't know, we'll see. I know you're not supposed to tie a polymer with mono or fluorocarbon. It hasn't let me down yet though. Another thing I do to clip that. <clears throat> see how this hook is bigger than this hook? 90% of your fish come on this hook back here, right? So why not have the bigger hook on the back of the bait? All I'm gonna do is just switch the placement on the hooks. Put the bigger hook in the back, put the smaller hook in the belly. Because if they have it on the, if they get the belly hook, generally they engulf the whole thing. Kind of like that other one, so. The ones that you need the bigger, wider gap hook on is the back. Just a little tip for you. I mean, some baits I'll go out and buy specific different hooks, but with these you can just get away with using the same hooks, just flip-flop the position on them. And that'll help you keep a couple more of those fish pinned if they're just nipping at it. Just like that. Now, bigger hook is back here, smaller hook is here. And if they come to nip at the back, we've got the biggest hook possible towards the back. We'll see if this color works. There we go. God. So much fun. <laughs> hey, little buddy. See ya. Three casts in a row. There we go. So, reason being, I made a cast off this side. If we go to side imaging, see these fish? There's a whole lot more of them a little bit ago. And now, I just, I saw, them on my, I saw them on my screen, I just turned around, made a cast, made about four hops, and this feels like a good one. It got a little tough here, oh yeah, that's a big one. It got a little tough here, the wind died. You need wind here, when it gets calm, fish Fish kind of turn off. Come here, honey. I need you. There we go. Nice. Bring her around to this side. All right. You look so much. I've been fishing in the river, and you get this clear water like we've got today. These fish just look so much bigger than they actually are. I thought that was like a 27. It's like 24, 25, regardless. It's awesome fish. They look so amazing in this clear water and it's beautiful green bay colors. Hard to beat that. There we go. Nice one too. Ooh, big tree spawner. Okay, honey, come on. 
Oh, nice big female. She's hooked perfectly. Check that out, baby. Woo! Let her go. What a fun day. What a fun day. So cool. This is one of my favorite bites of the year and it is just getting started. I'm gonna be able to get out here every day with clients. This new job of mine is like, so amazing it, it's God, I don't I have so many people to thank so many people that I owe for you know helping me out throughout the years and the biggest thing is you just got to work hard be persistent and just you know know what your goal is in the end like I don't even know where I want to be right now I just know that being on the water makes me feel at home and when, when I have to leave the water I just don't feel right and I don't know, I was able to pursue something that allows me to be on the water every day. And God, it's just, it's such an incredible feeling. I'm just getting started. I've only been up here for two weeks. And oh, this, I said in the beginning, this is a, a secret bite. It's no secret bite. Like everybody's gonna know where I am and I don't really care. I was just able to get out here on a Monday. No one else is here. And this is the first day that this opened up and it's actually fishable. So just, uh, I have so many people to thank and it's just incredible. I, I'm really, really thankful for a lot of people that have helped me get to where I am right now. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you guys want to do something, see me do something crazy, just let me know. God, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. You guys are helping me out. We just hit a thousand subs, which is awesome. We've got a long way to go, but that's definitely a milestone that... Uh, that was really cool for me and I have to thank you guys for that and all the uh, subscribers to come. So I'm going to be keep doing more and more of this stuff as the season goes on. Just depends where I'm at. It'll be what I'm doing and I'm going to try and keep them as informative and as action packed and just as, as enjoyable to watch as possible. So thank you guys for watching. I got to get off the water. I got to go meet my buddy Steve. I'm taking him trolling tonight down the river. So until next time, see you guys later.